a one horse town. One summer morning, you wake up in a small hometown, or in your small hometown. In the distance, the rooftops of sweltering city flash in the light of the sun. You vigorously forge your plans, leaving for this sleepy place as quickly as possible. But there's no escape without money or wheels. Then, out of the blue, an old acquaintance gets in touch. It's Hape, the owner of a small local construction company. He may look tough on the outside, but his heart's in the right place, and his guidance helps you quickly break into the building industry. So, it's time to set off for adventures in the world of the self-employed. Ah, good to see you again. Your active help is most welcome. I'm having a tough time keeping up with all the work. Do you know how many people around here are frustrated and thinking of moving away? If things keep going like that, this place could become a ghost town. To make matters worse, the water supply broke down this morning. It seems there's a crack in the pipeline. So if you want to help give people here another chance, let's fix the water line first. Get in your tractor and go to the local building supply store. Yes, You'll sir. You'll find a new pipe section there, ready for pickup. Just follow the navigation to get there. In the meantime, I'll head to the pipeline and take a closer look at the damage. Just so you know, I am playing on Xbox controller. So the inputs might be a little bit different than what you see. All right. Let's go to the building material dealer question marks they'll help you with fast traveling later in the game and trust me you want to fast travel sorry this caught my attention Took up this trailer. Do you know K is the shortcut? So you can see inside K. Got a little bobble head on the dash. Let's see if I can do this in first person. Just me or that black van just pop up out of nowhere. Maybe. Come on, there we go. That's a crack. Big boy, a crane. I always like to change the view. Then we can get started. Got, got to change the mode. Pretty much any vehicle, especially cranes. Then you can use them. I see another hammer. Okay. Oh. So while that's up. Sorry, I gotta take a break real quick. Hammer time. So I don't know if we're gonna find all 100. That seems like a heck of a task right there. But you never know. There's a whole lot of, there are a lot of missions in this game. And there's a whole nother region on top of that. You know, I chose the United States. There's also, also the Europe map. 
which I'm excited to get into and play that as soon as I complete this one. Hopefully, if everybody likes this series, then I will definitely play that one. Hopefully you guys like my channel. New adventure for me. I enjoy gaming, especially the simulation games. And I like the simulation community, so. But let's dispose of the damaged pipe. Let's do this. And speak with hate. I'm relieved. Thanks to your quick action replacing that broken piece, the water supply is repaired and back on. Good job. Since we're finished here, maybe you could give me a hand with something else. Sure thing. Old Joe owns a rundown motel on the outskirts of town. I've been promising him for a while that I would do some renovations on the place. Be a good fella and drive the flatbed truck over mm. there. I'll follow behind and tell you what needs to be done. Man, hey, you are quick. Old Joe wants us to pretty up his forecourt a little. I don't foresee any big problems. Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now. Something that travelers can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So get in and start compacting. Ready. Turn this bad boy on. Exterior. Back this bad boy up. I guess we'll go up just a little bit more. Nice thing about these jobs is you don't have to be perfect when you get them done. You can see that percentage in the top left for compact gravel goes up pretty quick. So you don't have to worry about if you miss a little stripe or anything like that go get this little strip and get this guy this should take us Now we're going to do it. There we go. Oh. Saw that, right? No blinker. All right, we do have a question mark up here. Going to be the gas station. I'm gonna drive in real quick. Say hi. It's the big one to know the location of. The gravel plant. Be in and out of here a lot.
another location up here. It's like another gas station. All right, let's get some letters. Good old Joe and his moto. to use the big boy crane. <laughs> BS Cinema, huh? <laughs> Six dudes? Ah, that's not a five guys reference, is it? Let's do this. There we go. Means if you go down, you're gonna hook onto it. Simple as that. Could have ended badly. Guess these letters aren't hooked on very well right now, are they? some letters Construction side. Go this way. Simplest route. Speak with hate again. Got for me this time, hate. Old Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Even the recycled neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then let's meet at the old gas station in town. Someone else there needs our help. This gas station owned by Pete and his wife Helena has been losing money for some time. But now that more tourists are stopping here off the highway, they want us to build a new tank. The old tank is already waiting for you to lift it out of its pit. I also got a backhoe loader for you so you can refill the pit when the new tank is installed. Then put some concrete on top and you're done. Piece of cake, right?
I mean, the detail on these vehicles is just amazing. I'll take some of your finest, please. Fifteen grand. Holy cow. bought this property back when the town was flourishing. Most businesses here are family owned like this one. It'd be a shame if they had to shut their doors because they're no longer profitable. Of course, things look pretty bleak if no visitors are coming to town. But you know what? Joe and I had a great idea that may sound a little crazy, but we have to give it a shot. Take the broken tank to Joe's motel. Then I'll fill you in over there. See you soon. back got some shady stuff going on back here ah perfect timing the preparations are underway i'm sure you're wondering what exactly we're up to well it's like this we need something spectacular to keep this town from going completely under so we'll work some magic here and special effects there. And presto, we'll have swarms of tourists coming for a peek with their cameras. On the outskirts, there's a place that we already set up for our plan. We just need your help to put the final piece in place. We should be finished by morning. No. Uh -oh. I mean, to make that from an old rusted tank. You gotta give them credit. All right. Oh, headlights. That'd be good. Drive to craft site. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now you only have to drive this thing out of the city limits without anybody seeing you. I wonder how important that really is. Can I go this way? What's up, hey? At last, there you are. Now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. But one thing's as certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. 
Soon, everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. And all thanks to your help. Good job. Listen, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid, but I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. Oh, hey. So, what do you say? I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Deal? Deal. Congratulations on running your very own company. Thanks. If you wanted to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. I recommend you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town so you can someday leave this place behind. You should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. The rest will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Oh, look at that. I got my name on the building and everything. It's legit. Thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much this means to me to start this channel and do something like this. Uh, it's always been something in the back of my head to start doing. I just finally decided to pull the trigger. So on that note, Goodbye for now. I'll see you soon.